Why is Benjamin Netanyahu in Washington? Why is he addressing a joint session of Congress? Why would Congress extend this undeserved honor to somebody like Netanyahu, a controversial political leader at home and here in the United States, particularly during this turbulent period in the region and in U.S. politics? Traditional congressional pandering is the only logical answer I can give you to this question. Unfortunately, it is quite widespread a practice, often attributed to catering to special interest groups and constituency services. Netanyahu is not, by any standard, the most popular prime minister in Israel or in the American Jewish community. Go back and watch the TV footage the last 24 hours of the noisy farewell party he was given by the hostage families and other Israeli critics as he departed Ben Gurion Airport the past weekend. This is indicted politician facing, since November 2019 actually, charges of bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. His government has been accused by the International Court of Justice of committing acts bordering on genocide throughout the ongoing war in Gaza. Furthermore, Netanyahu and his extremist coalition government has not necessarily been the most cooperative ally of the Biden administration which has been the most supportive American government of Israel and Israeli policies since 1948, whether diplomatically, financially, or militarily. I can see the logic, for example, of the Republicans in Congress rewarding Netanyahu in order to embarrass Biden and to create uh, more criticism of his administration's policy in the Middle East. But frankly, it is quite bizarre and somewhat unethical for Biden allies like Schumer, Jeffries and other Democrats to pander to Netanyahu at this critical time after what he did to the Democratic Party. I am reminded of a famous quote attributed to Niccolo Machiavelli. Politics, according to the Florentine diplomat and philosopher, have no relations to morals. It is all just politics.